Well, hello there, Taco House Charlie Brown. How are you doing on this fine day? I'd like to introduce you guys to my friend, Taco House Charlie Brown. We come to each other for advice every now and then. I'll ask him for ideas on, you know, what material I should use, what content I should create, things like that. He will uh, confide in me that he's concerned about being so young and having such a mature mustache growing on his chin, but I just let him know that it adds character. And so we are good buddies. Uh, it's a little chilly outside. He's standing out here in the snow. It's about 23 degrees. But uh, good to see you, Charlie Brown. Good to see you. And so hello everybody and welcome once again to Tommy Travels, the second, another edition. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. My first channel is Tommy Travels, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out as well. And I am here with Taco House Charlie Brown, my good buddy. So Charlie Brown, what advice do you have for me as to what we should do today? Hey, that's a good idea. He suggested that we go and check out some wall art murals <laughs> and if you learn anything about me you'll find out that I love wall art murals and they have a lot of them here in West St. Paul and so we're just gonna take a little bit and quick tour and see what there is to see so come on with me let's go see what there is to see And so we don't have to go very far to find it. <laughs> right here at Taco House. They have a wall mural right here. There's a guy in the countryside on the donkey. And check out these guys having a party. Looks like they're chowing down and having some drink and festivities going on. Very cool background with the mountains and the sky. Lots of cool pottery to look at. And then look, here's some more over here. It just keeps going and we've got a city back here. That is really cool. We've got the old church. I like how they put some details in the city even though it's not very often people are gonna get this up close to the mural. Looks like they are having a good time. And these two guys over here, they don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> They're like, will you turn that music down? <laughs> That's okay, guys. <laughs> They'll go to sleep soon. And here we are at Boca Chica, right across the street. And look at this one. Birth of a Nation. Check that out. There is quite a battle going on there. Got a patriotic eagle. And this one, oh no. <laughs> this one isn't doing too good. Looks like he's having his hands full with this guy, but this guy also isn't doing too well either. <laughs> that is quite a battle. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys to it and just stay stay safe <laughs> oh my goodness look at this one absolutely huge it takes up <laughs> at least half of the building got the eagle here flying in the sky not sure what this all symbolizes here but they've got the cactuses very colorful Look at the detail all the way down to the claws. Got the berries of some kind growing. Wow. <laughs> well done, whoever came up with this one. Well done. Just from every angle, it is, <laughs> it is so cool to look at. This must have taken a long time to put together. 
And this might be one of my favorites here so far today. Showing some wildlife. <laughs> Got the trees. Looks like water right here, a pond or a river. Showing Mexico. West St. Paul does have a large Hispanic population, so if you're getting that type of a vibe from these paintings, that would be why. Check out these butterflies. <laughs> so colorful. And look at this little guy. You would barely notice him from the street, but there he is, right there. Adding some color to the world. And speaking of adding some color to the world, look at this guy. <laughs> They got a parrot up here. <laughs> that is the, probably the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> you, sir, are awesome. Now this is not a building, it's actually a big truck, but I just wanna point this out right here. Some people would not call this art. They would say, that is not art. Well, maybe, maybe that isn't so much. <laughs> But this, it's better than anything I could do with a few spray paint cans. And when I was at an adventure last weekend, Can Can Wonderland, it had this type of spray paint stuff on the wall, graffiti art. And in that setting, it was art because it's a, inside of a business and it's meant to be there. But just because it may not be authorized, is it art or? Is it vandalism? If you've got an opinion on the subject, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check out this building. Just when I thought the last one was my favorite thing, <laughs> I find out this one is instead. Look at this. That is so colorful. Maybe a little more scary than what we've checked out previously, but so awesome. Oh my gosh. And we saw a parrot over there that we took some pictures of and look at this guy right here. <laughs> I've heard of angry birds before, but <laughs> this guy looks like he's got a prison record. And it figures that all of the best art that we'll probably see today and most colorful is on the building of a tattoo shop. It's called A1 Tattoo in West St. Paul. In case you're interested, check them out. They are very talented. Look at the flower and check out that bumblebee. <laughs> My gosh, I am blown away by how cool that is. I'm so glad I did this today. Thanks for the suggestion, Taco House Charlie Brown. You know, one of the things that I like about what I do is I get to capture little moments in time and speaking of time it has weathered this painting a little bit as you can see the brickwork through the chipped paint there and so this stuff has seen its better days you always think of this as being kind of a permanent deal when people paint murals on buildings like this but eventually they go away too. So I'm glad I got a chance today to stop by and witness this and document it for posterity. Unbelievably cool. Check this out. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Look at this cow. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> Welcome to Tommy Travels the Second. the other side of the building and they have got some cool art along here as well. Peace! <laughs> the people's voice. All sorts of little messages here. Yes, I would have to say this building is the jackpot of wall art murals. Look at this. I don't know exactly what's going on here. 
but I really like this guy. <laughs> Go Vikings! <laughs> Look at that. He's got the Viking hat. That is definitely a Viking. <laughs> Representing Minnesota, there's always got to be lots of ice cubes. <laughs> This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It takes up the whole side of the building. And I always like to give credit where credit is due, if at all possible. And so, here we go, right here. John L. Acosto, Richard Schletti, A. Gutierrez. I believe you folks are the ones responsible for this beautiful work of art. This kind of has a similar feel to the one that we saw at the Taco House, but a little bit more modern day. Well, modern day, maybe like <laughs> the 70s. <laughs> This looks like a 70s scene right here. A guy just happens to have some grapes and these guys are laying down in the field here. <laughs> Has kind of a 70s vibe to it, but very well done. I don't know what's going on here. This guy seems to be having an issue. And that guy doesn't have a shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. And this lady right here seems to be serving up some some produce <laughs> to this gal over here who's watching this guy over here <laughs> I don't know what's going on here I'm a little confused but <laughs> kind of like this guy he looks a little confused himself <laughs> this is very cool though I like it and just to let you know all of these are probably within a block of each other so there's a lot more art like this around town, but this is a little taste of it for today. Well, I would have to say that this was another successful episode of Tommy Travels, the second. <laughs> we got to see some amazing artwork by local artists around West St. Paul, and it was a blast. And you guys, if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it. That'll just keep you in the loop on future videos that are yet to come. And I really appreciate everybody who's watching my videos and the early support. Thank you so much. Couldn't do it without you. And until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching.